Hello there everybody, this is Dax. Today we're going to be talking about Moth Totem, Moth Spirit. Also please watch till the very end because the very end of the video we will have a meditation on contacting Moth Spirit. I did a Moth Spirit meditation right before recording this, so what I'm going to be saying will be coming from Moth Spirit. But I do ask real quick that if you like the information that I'm giving you, please click that like button. And also there's a bell icon right up there. If you could just click that bell icon and you'll be informed of whenever I post anything new on this channel. So I encourage you, if you like the message, please like, subscribe, click that bell, all that stuff. You know, you know the routine. So today we're going to be talking about Moth Spirit, Moth Totem. Um, as I have mentioned in some of my other videos, you can think of Moth Spirit as like an oversoul to the entire species. And another thing about Moth is that there's more than one kind of moth. There's a lot, there's thousands of different species of moth out there. So we're really talking about kind of the oversoul of the whole thing in this video. Okay, now we're, we're ready to begin the process. Once again, everything that I say here, it's coming through me. Your relationship with moth spirit is a personal relationship. So, if I ever say anything that to you does not feel accurate, you go with it. I'm here to guide, I'm here to help you along, I am not here to say, this is what it is. So, listen to your own intuition. If your intuition is telling you something specific, listen to it. Okay, now, about Moth Spirit. Let's do a quick meditation, bring Moth Spirit in. Moth spirit, it's important to acknowledge that most species of moths, not all, but most of them, are nocturnal. They live in the night and they are very effective at being mobile and operating in the darkness. And oftentimes, when moth spirit approaches you, this is what the spirit is telling you to do. The spirit is telling you you need to do work on yourself in the dark. You need to go someplace where you can't be seen and work on your spiritual progress there. Uh, they are also very good at navigating the darkness. So there might be situations you're having to deal with that you can't really see yourself but they're going to have a profound influence on your life. Moth spirit can guide you through this process. Another aspect of moth spirit deals in transformation. Yes, transformation. When you are one thing, you need to become something else. For moth spirit, this is a natural progression. It, you know, yes, moth spirit can help you with this transformation. Transformation can be painful, it can be difficult. We human beings do not like change. But if moth spirit is approaching you, then chances are you need to be going through this change. It's an important change. You will possibly die if you do not go through this change. That, that would be the extreme case of that. I mean, it's just as likely that you'll simply be uncomfortable. But what I'm getting here is there is a major stake in whether or not you change. If you stay the same, things will not go well for you. And so not only is Moth coming to you and telling you that you need this change, it's there to guide you through the process. Allow yourself to follow Moth. Allow Moth to be your guide. Uh, watch where moth is taking you. As you go through life, keep your eyes open for moth. You are more likely to see moth at night. Moth is tied to the moon, so that would 
probably be the easiest time to find moth, but there are species of moth out during the daylight too. One important thing to keep in mind is that because there are so many moth species, it may be a specific species that's contacting you and not moth in general. Once again, listen to your inner guidance. You know, this, this heart right here, this will tell you if what I'm saying here is true. It will tell you where you need to go. So allow moth to guide you. Look for moth. Follow moth. Do this both spiritually and physically. If you see a moth that's calling your attention to it, and it happens to be sitting on a ledge or something, what is the ledge that that moth is sitting on? Investigate it. Look into it. If you see a moth flying in a particular direction, it's fluttering around over there calling your attention to it, and it keeps moving a certain way, then maybe you're supposed to go that way. The moth is guiding you physically as well as spiritually. As I'm making this video, I'm kind of tapped into moth spirit here, and I keep getting yeses and noes on everything that I keep saying. I'm only going to place in the video things that moth spirit are actually telling me yes on. Uh, but I'm having to sit here and pause occasionally, get more information, make certain that I am communicating to you what moth spirit actually has to say. Now, while I'm doing that, one thing that I do want to point out, moth being an insect, insects are animals. I constantly hear people treat insects as if they aren't animals. They are animals. So a moth spirit, a moth totem connection is just as powerful, just as valid to you as wolf or bear or wildcat or whatever it is. So remember this. Just because it's got an exoskeleton and six legs does not mean that you should treat it on a different level from a mammal. Because to most people, that's what an animal is. You say an animal to most people, they think mammals. Mammals are not the only animals, and it is important that you keep this in mind. Uh, I cannot stress this enough. Insect animal totems are powerful totem animals. And they have a lot of wisdom. They have a lot to teach you. A lot of people will choose to instead go with the cool animals and you're just not going to learn very much if you only stick with the animals that you've got labeled as cool. So enough of that side note, back to the moth spirit. Let me focus on this a little bit. Get more of a message going. Moths also have the power to feel their way. And this is kind of tied into what I was saying earlier about being able to navigate your way through the darkness. A moth does not need to see to get to where it's trying to go. This feels to me like a goal. This feels to me like moth spirit might be approaching you because there is a goal at stake. Uh, once again, we already discussed what it seems like. It, it seems like the stakes are pretty high on this. I wouldn't go so far as to say that you'll die if you don't do it. That's only in specific extreme examples. But I do feel like the stakes are high here. And there's a goal involved. It's possible that Moth Spirit is approaching you over a job that you need to get done, but the job needs to be done on faith. Uh, deep down inside, you know that you need to be doing this, 
it's an important job for you to do. You must get it done. You know this. You don't need me to tell this. All I'm doing is validating here. But it's a job that you need to do and you cannot see what the outcome is going to be. You need to trust. You need to keep the faith. It's possible that there's something involved here where you're working on it, you're not seeing any progress, and you're losing hope, you're considering giving up. Don't do this. Don't give up. It's important. Well, so this, this video is definitely going a direction that I did not expect it to go. I intended for this video to be more of a description of what moth spirit usually means when it appears to you. Instead, it's turning into more of a prediction. But I'm going to include the prediction parts in the video simply because, once again, I'm getting these yeses and no feelings in my heart as I'm communicating to you, and the yeses will make it into the video. As I was giving you this prediction, I kept getting this yes, 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 yes. So I was supposed to tell you that. It was not something I ever intended to be in the video, but it's supposed to be there, so it will remain. Um, but yes, back to Moth Spirit, back to Moth Totem. Moth Spirit will also oftentimes represent a cosmic lunar energy. That's what I'm getting in this this particular communication with Moth Spirit. Some kind of cosmic lunar energy. It's like if you think in terms of the cosmos, Moth is not Moth is not the bright light. Moth is not the stars. Moth is... I'm trying to figure out how to get this right. Moth spirit is tied to the cosmos. When moth approaches you, it is trying to communicate something cosmic in nature. But it deals more with the darkness of the cosmos, the shimmering dark. So it goes back to the light of the moon. Moth can navigate you between the light. So let's just go down the, the basic list here and see where it goes. When moth spirit contacts you, there is usually a cosmic darkness involved. And you need to look into yourself to find out what that is. Darkness is not evil. Let's get that point across right now. We're not talking evil. We're talking sightlessness. We're talking faith. We're talking a divine nature here. Moth can lead you through the divine nature. So look for moth. See where it's telling you to go. For some reason, I keep wanting to call moth a he. So moth spirit, that's rather fascinating. That moth spirit could be seen as something masculine, even though it's tied to something as feminine as silky smooth moonlight. One of the things I am getting from moth Intellectually, this video does not seem right. It's not what I wanted this video to be. But emotionally, that connection, I feel like the video is going where it is supposed to be. No. Emotionally speaking, I feel like this video is going where it's supposed to be. I, I am saying what Moth wants me to say. Very intriguing very strange but some of the attributes that moth has moth can keep itself warm through movement 
if moth is cold, it can flap its wings to warm itself up. It's not warm-blooded, it is not a warm-blooded animal, but it can regulate its temperature. What I'm getting from that is that oftentimes moth will approach you when it's important to take control of your own destiny. And that is tying into some of the other things I'm seeing here. Moth approaches you when you need to follow your destiny. Going back to the sightlessness thing earlier, you usually cannot see the end result in this communication. It's a faith-based thing. You're feeling your way along. Keep going. Don't stop. Don't quit. That that's the strong message that I'm getting here. And now I'm feeling like that's that's your message from Moth Spirit. Moth Spirit is telling you there, there's something important going on in your life. There's something important. You've already started the process but you're on the verge of giving up and moth spirit is saying you need to keep going i don't know and I'm, I'm that that doesn't really feel like a good finale to the video to me but i'm hearing this yes 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 thing going so we're going to call that the end of the discussion part of this video now as i promised you at the beginning of the video we're going to do a meditation. I'm going to teach you how to get in there and connect with Moth yourself. First thing I want you to do is get comfortable. That could be sitting down. Um, I would rather that you not be laying down, but this might be necessary. I'm wanting you to have your feet flat on the ground. So standing, sitting, whatever. The purpose for the feet on the ground is because it connects you with the energy of planet Earth. It kind of takes you and the planet and melds you together a little bit more so that you're in better communication. And that's the purpose for this. So, uh, if at all possible, if comfortable, get your feet flat on the ground, preferably without shoes, rubber soles get in the way. So, feet flat on the ground, and get in a place where you are comfortable enough that you can just sit for a while. Now, close your eyes, as I've already done. Close your eyes, and just start feeling the existence of your body. Focus your attention on your skin. Feel the air as it curls around you. Feel the ground beneath your feet. Feel the love of the earth come up into your heart, into your head, and through the top of your head. Imagine in your mind's eye a beautiful, glorious moth, just a lovely creature. And imagine that you are the moth. Clear your mind. Do not inject any of your ideas into this moth body. Just the body is yours. And this moth body is sending you information. So just open your heart. You can actually feel your heart opening when you do this. And now we're going to sit here in silence as you receive messages from this alternate you.
continue your communication with Moth Spirit for as long as you feel is necessary. In the beginning, you might have a very difficult time with this communication. That's okay. It's okay. If you're beginning, it takes practice. Not a problem. Even if you do nothing more than sit still for a moment and quiet your mind, you have done something wonderful here. The attempt to communicate with Moth Spirit, oftentimes the desire to communicate with Moth Spirit, is all that you need to get started. So remember what I described. Sit there. Feel your skin. Feel the air around you. Imagine as perfect an image of moth as you can create. And remember that this image of the moth that you're seeing, it's you. And then allow this other you to send ideas to the version of you that is watching this video. It's still you. There is no need to force your will on it. Allow this moth to tell you what it needs to say. I love you very much. If you found this information useful, please click like, please click subscribe. If you want, there's that bell icon right up there. It will inform you of when new videos are being posted to this channel. I love you all. I wish you the very best.